Hi, this video is going to be about how you can deal with haters by changing your mindset specifically. Um, and it's going to start with um, some advice that I gave a friend who was struggling with this. Um, and then I'll move on to sort of the groundwork of um, where this mindset change comes from. Um, what sort of, I'm going to talk about Marcus Aurelius, who was in the thumbnail, which I've got um, a quote to talk about. Um, and then I will give you a quick example that I had very recently, last night, in fact, of some of my friends um, being quite childish and dis disrespectful to me. Um, they weren't happy with the way, you know, I turned down, we'll get to it later, but I turned down something that, an activity that they wanted to do, and it made them upset. Um, so stay to the end if you want to hear about that. Um, but about the advice that I gave my friend, um, he is at another university studying media, um, and he's really talented at like editing, filming, um, and his task was to create a short film. Um, so he'd written the storyboard, um, he, he just got assigned to this team, he was the director, um, and he had to try and organise everyone else who was doing the like editing, the filming, the acting. Um, and he's done similar roles in the past where he's, you know, short films where he's just done all of it, essentially. Um, I mean, not that he would, maybe he, maybe he would be the director, the editor, and he would make the storyboard and stuff. Um, and that there would be actors as well who would do their job. So I suppose he struggled a little bit working as a team because he put a lot of, um, a lot of effort into, into it himself and wanted to do quite a lot of it himself because he wasn't happy with the performance of the team members. He thought he could do a better job editing, um, things like that. Um, and the way that this coursework, I think, was assessed was that um, it was peer reviewed by the team uh, on my friend's performance as a director. And because he was quite, uh, you know, he took the lead perhaps a bit too much. Um, they marked him down for it. Um, they weren't happy with it because they didn't get much of a role in the process themselves. Um, so he was, he was telling me that he was like really upset with these people. Like he didn't really get on with them from the start. He wasn't happy with their work ethic. They weren't hardworking people, he thought. Um, and I said to him that you've got to focus on things that you can control. There's always going to be people like that in the world that you th that aren't on the same path as you, that aren't aligned with you, that have the same values. Um, there's always going to be people like that. So you can't really change them. You can't really think, oh, let's have an argument with them and try and bring them to my side. Um, the only thing you can control is how you react in your mind to their to their anger towards you or their disapproval towards you um and he really appreciated that advice um so i'm going to go on to the groundwork of where this sort of idea comes from just find it in this book this is meditations by marcus aurelius um and i'll just find it one second Okay, so if you don't know who Marcus Aurelius is, he is a he was a Stoic philosopher, um, and he was also emperor of Rome. So he's really quite unusual in that he was the very top of power in the world. He had control over all of the Mediterranean um, in around I think it was a hundred or two hundred AD, um, and yet he was really focused on himself uh, on philosophy. Um, so I've got a quote from essentially his diary, because um, this wasn't meant to be published, so it's literally just his thoughts. So it says, focus on these things. That things have no hold on the soul. They stand there unmoving outside it. Disturbance comes only from within. 
from our own perceptions. So he's really getting at the idea of you can only control how you perceive things because everyone perceives things differently, right? Um, and it's just such a clever quote. Um, it quite often gets, um, I don't know what the word is, but people um, quote it in a different way. So this might be an easier way for you to think of it. Um, people say, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Um, so I was interested in Mark, Marcus Aurelius for um, a few years previously. Um, and it was during this encounter that I had with my friends last night that I just had just remembered him suddenly and remembered this idea that you can only control internal things you can only control your thoughts how you how you perceive things how you react to things um, and that really helped me so I'll just um, speak about this event that happened last night um, so I was in my room it was about half nine and I got a call from my friends and they wanted to play poker and I said um, no, thank you. I, I don't want to play because I had just previously, the day before, I played about five or six hours of poker at the society at the university, um, and I had told myself at that point that I wasn't gonna, you know, I was gonna get back onto my routine because last Friday was my um, final exam, and all weekend I've been relaxing essentially, um, having a break from good habits, I suppose, been indulging a little bit, um, you know, went out for a pub crawl, got drunk, played poker all, all evening on Monday, so um, I wanted to get back onto my routine today, so I said, no, I want to get an early night, so I want to just read a bit, go to bed, and they were really upset and disappointed because they wanted, to, they really wanted to play, um, and if I didn't play with them, there wouldn't be enough people to play um, in total. So they stormed into my room. Um, I was just trying to trying to understand why I wasn't doing it. And oh, come on, would you, would you rather read or would you rather have fun with the boys and things like that? And it's like really just like trying to <laughs> guilt trip me in to come and play poker. But I I knew in my mind that I didn't want to play. Um, and why should I do something that I don't want to do just to please someone else? Is it worth it to keep our friendship? Um, I don't know, maybe. But they they said I'd gone too far and said that was the end of our friendship, which I doubt. Um, <laughs> and I had an orange on my desk and one of my friends threw it against the wall just behind where the coats are. Um, and like some juice like dropped down on the wall and my other friend asked what the book it, what the book was that I was going to read um, and I pointed it because it was just on, on here and he took it <laughs> downstairs so I couldn't read it um, so I was really annoyed afterwards because um, they were quite aggressive you know, they like, threw the orange against the wall they were shouting, slamming the door um, but I just realised this concept by Marcus Aurelius you can't control other people's behaviors um, if you're content with the way that you're living and you know in yourself that you believe what you're doing is right for yourself um, so I find my routine is like quite fulfilling I feel like I'm working towards my goals going to the gym and things like that reading um, I, I find that's fulfilling and I enjoy it um, so I journaled, you know, I was sitting on my bed, I was like, oh god, like, I feel quite upset and annoyed, and then I journaled and wrote all my, all my ideas down, and came to the same conclusion that, yeah, I'll, I would still do the same thing again, even in hindsight, um, and that is what I would say to you guys for advice, um, if you ever do get racing thoughts in your head, just write it all down on a piece of paper and then your mind is clear afterwards. Um, 
And also just remember this idea that you can't control everything. This applies to all outside events. Um, so like the news, um, the weather, you, know, you can't control the weather, um, people's behavior, um, all things that are out, outside of your control, you don't need to worry about them. Just worry about how you react to them. Um, so I hope that makes sense. And if you're interested in Marcus Aurelius, I think he's a fascinating person. Um, I would get this book, Meditations. Um, and other than that, have a great rest of your day.